fifth grade getting ready for sixth grade lesson nine equivalent ratios. To make graphs, you can mix two parts zinc to three parts copper, a ratio of two to three. If you have 12 bars of copper and use them all, how many bars of zinc do you need to make graphs? Since ratios can be written as fractions, two to three can be written as two thirds. Use what you know about equivalent fractions to find equivalent ratios. You know that each group of zinc to copper bars needs to make 12, needs to make brass. Needed to make brass has a ratio of 2 to 3. How can you use this group to find an equivalent ratio? We said since each group has an equivalent ratio of 2 to 3, the sum will also have a 2 to 3 ratio as well. So use a diagram to find an equivalent ratio. So they um, drew the bars, 2 zinc, 3 copper. Add groups until you have 12 bars of copper. So they went ahead and did different groups, and they had to have four groups in order to get 12 bars of copper. So count the zinc bars, write an equivalent ratio. There are eight zinc bars for all of the 12 copper bars. So two to three is equivalent to the ratio of eight to 12. Try this. Use equivalent ratios to find out if 6 to 8 is equivalent to 18 to 24. So basically, write the ratios as fractions. So they wrote 6, eight, or six to 8, or 6 over 8, they wrote 18 to 24 as 18 over 24. And then they said that in order to get from 6 to, oh, or they said um, the simplified fraction would be you divide by 2 and get 3 fourths, and then over here, simplified fraction, you divide by 6 and get to 3. But could you also say 6 times what gets you 18? 3. 3. And then is 8 times 3, 24? Yes. yes. So that's another way that you can see that they are equivalent ratios. Okay? Here and show, are the ratios 3 to 5 and 12 to 20 equivalent? Write both fraction ratios as fractions. So we write the first one is 3 over 5, and then the next one is 12 over 20. Okay, are both ratios in simplest form? Are no. they both in simplest form? No. No. Write both ratios in simplest form. Is 3 this in simplest form? Yes. yes, so it does not need to be changed, but you still have to rewrite it. Then, 12 20 is. What goes into both 12 and 20? Four. Four. Four goes into 12 how many times? Five. Three, three times. Three times. And then four goes into 20? Five, five. five times. So are the ratios equivalent? Yes. Yes. Write equivalent or not equivalent. So first of all, we need to write them in fraction form, right? So the first one I would write as one third. The next one I would write as two six. two six. Are they in simplest form? No. No. Is one third? Yes. Yes. Is two six? No. No. What goes into both two and six? Two. Two. Two goes into two once. once. Two goes into six. Three. So are they equivalent? Yes. So equivalent. So we have. Three, we need to write 3 to 7 and 12 to 21 in fraction form. So the first one I would have 3, seven. three over 7. And the next one I would have 12, 12 over 21. Okay, is 3 7s an equivalent or is it a simplified fraction? Yeah. Yes. So is 12 20s? No. no. Or 12 21st? No. So what goes into both 12 and 21? 3. 3. How many times does? Three go into twelve. Four times. Four times. How about into twenty-one? Seven. Times. Seven times. So are they equivalent? No. No. So not equivalent. Okay. So you guys are going to do four through twelve with your partners, and then we'll go over them and check them. Problem solving. Three of every five pieces that Mitzi's Pizza sells are cheese pizzas. Mitzi sold. 80 pizzas today, how many of them would you expect were cheese? So three of every five. So we'd have what? Three fifths, right? So three of every five. And then they sold 80 pizzas. 
how many of them would you expect were cheese? So could we put, where would we put 80 if we did another fraction? The bottom. The bottom. Okay, what times 5 gets us 80? Well, times 5 is 16. So mentally, okay, let's check the 16. So 5 can go into 8 how many times? One time. One time, one. And then we would do 8 minus 5, which is 3. Bring down that 0. How many times does 5 go into 30? Six times, so it's 16, correct? Yes. Yep, so I do on the bottom, I also do on the top. So 3 times 16 is what? 48. 48. So, about how many pizzas? 48. 48 cheese pizzas. 